Well, hello and welcome to the Academy of Physician Engagement podcast. Here you'll find tips and tools to help you build business relationships with doctors. I'm Dr. Vicki Rackner, your host. I call on my experience as a practicing surgeon and entrepreneur to help bridge the gap between the world of business and the world of medicine. Well, here it is, December 2020, and you might be thinking about your plans for 2021. I just wanted to offer you some thoughts to help you gain clarity about what it is that you will be doing professionally and personally during this year. So the place that I always begin when I'm thinking about the new year is an assessment of where I have been. So what are your wins from 2020? What has contributed to your wins and maybe what stood in your way? Now, I will tell you that many of my clients had their best years Ever. I can tell you that personally, my business tripled in 2020. When you have a commitment to understanding what your clients' needs are and a commitment to offering value, times of pain like we've been through in 2020 really are times of opportunity. So how about you? Do you engage in evidence-based marketing? Do you know what your cost of client acquisition is? Uh, Do you know what the lifetime value of your patients are? Many people are taking a real look at maybe advertising on Facebook or LinkedIn for the first time. Once you have a better sense of your numbers, you'll be able to make more prudent business investments. So now that we've talked about 2020, let's talk about 2021. So here are three questions for your consideration. First, what is it that I really, really want? And as you take a look at your business, generally the kinds of wants come in three different flavors. One is more money, second is more time, and the third is more joy or personal rewards or more meaning. So how is it that you'd like to do 2021 a little differently this time? And question number two is, Why do you really want this? Because having clarity about your why is going to make the habits and actions that you do on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis uh, more motivating. So for example, I got a call from somebody who was thinking enrolling in my course, and she was telling me that she had actually achieved pretty high levels of success with her current practice. I said, well, why is it then that you're thinking about this course? And she said, well, I've had this lifelong vision of taking my families to the Dolomites. And I thought that if I could even just take away one good idea, I'd be able to afford that. Well, sure enough, I got a note from her from the Dolomites later in the year. So what is your why? Personally, I invest in entrepreneurship and my why, my secret why, is that I want to show my son that this is a viable option. He watched me struggle in my earlier years of entrepreneurship. When he was in elementary school, he once said to me, why don't you just get a job? Well, I wanted to show him that this is really what's possible. Third question is, what do you need in order to get from where you are now to where you would like to be? So what kinds of things do you want to keep? What kinds of things do you want to edit out? And what kinds of things do you want to add? So ideally, you've got a pretty good sense of what your gifts are, about what things come effortlessly for you so that you can bring those gifts into your plan for 2021. Paradoxically, many people have very little insight about their own gifts. And so you might want to ask somebody who knows you well, Hey, if I were on a cover of a magazine, what would the magazine be and what would the article be about? Or if there was a circumstance under which you could only call one person, under what circumstances would you call me? Then ideally, if you're in your sweet spot in 2021, you're going to spend most of your time in your areas of giftedness and then maybe recruit some help to to assist in places where you don't have those kinds of strengths. Second, what kinds of marketing campaigns have been successful in the past and what do you want to keep? Now, most of us are for the first time really thinking about how to build virtual relationships, right? 
So we may have gotten knee to knee with our prospects or our clients. And now how do we do this now that everyone's physical distancing? Well, there's some good news with the physical distancing and that's that your prospecting area has gotten a lot bigger, right? In medicine, we used to quip, the whole world is pre-op. Well, previously, when I'd be talking with my clients, I would ask them what their prospecting area was. And in general, they didn't want to travel more than like two or three hours to be able to see a client. Well, now that we can meet a client virtually, you could potentially deal with clients anywhere in the US or even the world if you want to deal with licensing issues. So with whom would you like to work? What other skills do you need? So digital marketing is huge. What is your level of experience with digital marketing? What kind of help could you use in order to get that up and running? And then what about your dream team? What are the resources that maybe are outside of your direct office space that would help you invest your time in higher value activities. So there you have it. Three questions that can help you gain clarity about your plan for 2021. Number one, what do you really, really want? Number two, why do you want it? And number three, what do you need in order to get there? Now, here's another little tip. Sometimes in order to figure out what we want, a way into that clarity is to ask, what don't we want? So maybe you don't want so much complexity. Um, maybe you don't want a feeling of overwhelm. Um, maybe you don't want the sense that you're just beating your head against the wall. Well, you can then turn that upside down. Okay, I want more clarity. I want more simplicity. And I want a bigger team. So it's all not just me. My sense is that there are still tremendous opportunities in 2021. It's my fondest wish that you figure out how to get there and enjoy that for yourself. And I'll look forward to creating more content for you to help you get there. If you found value in this podcast, please feel welcome to share it with your friends, your colleagues, your broker dealer. If you have any questions that you'd like to see me address in the podcast, please feel welcome to pass them along to me. I'm always looking for new ways of delivering value to you. Bye-bye for now.